Tamil Nadu Global Investors Meet 2024 is happening in Chennai on January 7 and 8. you know there's a very active debate right now uh, i i think in many ways uh, uh, obviously people use that debate for their own uh, narrow purposes the fact is to me uh, the term bharat has a certain uh, not just a cultural civilizational connotation but also one of a certain confidence and identity and uh, you know and on what terms you how you perceive yourself and because that is my business what are the terms you are offering to the world so i i don't uh, you know this is this is not to me something which is a narrow political uh, debate or i would even say in that sense a historical cultural debate mm-hmm. it is a mindset uh, and the the point i make is that if we are actually preparing uh, seriously for the amrit kal next 25 years if we are talking of a viksit bharat a developed bharat that can only happen if you are an atmanirbhar bharat and to be atmanirbhar you have to be bharat what pakistan was trying to do Uh, not now but over multiple decades was really to use cross border terrorism to bring india to the table okay that in essence was its core policy we have made that irrelevant mm. by not resp- you know not playing that game mm. uh now uh, it's not a case that we you know that we don't uh, uh, will not deal with a neighbor after all at the end of the day a neighbor is a neighbor but it is that we will not deal you know on the basis of terms that they set where where the practice of terrorism is deemed as legitimate uh, and uh, and effective in order to bring you to the table no, i don't think we always lost out but i uh, would argue that uh, at various points of time uh, you know we could have you know uh, uh say uh, there was when we talk about uh, the parts of the past which uh, today would be very difficult for someone to understand the panchil agreement is another such example mm-hmm. you know so i i would say that uh, 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 today that's why i come back to bharat yeah that the role of confidence the role of assurance the fact i mean we are a multiple millennia civilization you know all this should be in our demeanor in our standing and in the way in which we approach other countries no if the if people can't read me that means my mind games are working <laughs> okay Uh, but uh, the answer is honestly i see no reason uh, that people uh, should uh, take any you know what was happening other than at face value because we have always maintained that the russia relationship is a very important one very steady one i've written about it in my book yeah. and i said it in moscow i mean i said it in publicly in moscow Uh, even before my meeting with president putin happened which is that we value this relationship it's a relationship that has served india well look i'm looking at it now from an indian perspective and that's also part of being bharat huh? part of being bharat is you must look from perspective of your interest not allow other people to decide your judgment and your uh, your responses <laughs> look i do not see a correlation there no i mean uh, getting everybody around on a g20 has nothing to do with the khalistani issue in in canada i mean the khalistani issue is not a new issue the khalistani issue has existed for decades why do you think that it is uh, it has become so uh, such a thorn in the flesh for india canada relations and why do you think prime minister trudeau for a handful of khalistanis has put relationship with india on the rocks uh, look, i i am i can explain my government my prime minister and my book but you're also an I, academic I, I, you're also a diplomat <laughs> I, i i do not i it's not for me to speculate uh, on other prime ministers but i will tell you the 
the issue at heart. The issue at heart is the fact that in Canadian politics, uh, these Khalistani forces have been given a lot of space and have been allowed to indulge in activities, which uh, I, I think are damaging to the relationship, clearly uh, not in India's interest, but I would argue not in Canada's interest either. But unfortunately, that is the state of their politics. Once, you know, uh, Modi comes in in 2014 uh, and uh, uh, really weighs the foreign policy which now he's, he's taken charge of. Uh, that's, that's essentially the chapter which I described where uh, you can see, you know, he, he feels the need for a new construct. That one where the neighborhood, uh, very generous uh, non-reciprocal policy towards the neighborhood which brings the neighborhood in closer to the fact that we have uh, an extended zone. The mandalas that. that you talk yes, about. Yes, the, you know, the uh, Southeast Asia, uh, Indian Ocean, uh, the Gulf, uh, Central Asia. Now, we had done, made some progress definitely in Southeast Asia. But if you look, for example, at the Gulf, hmm. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, this is a region so near us. So many Indians living there, so much oil imported from there, yet politically very, very neglected. I mean, a country like UAE, for example, had not had a prime ministerial visit from before Modi went there from the time of Indira Gandhi. Uh, so, and then you will look at the Indian Ocean. You know, again, we were dealing with it like, you know, this Peace island, meal. that island. Mm. Yes, piecemeal. I mean, there wasn't a single mm. uh, integrated uh, construct. And uh, again, in the case of uh, Central Asia, that intensity of, of connection was not there. Then the ability really to engage uh, multiple uh, pow the major powers engage not in the sense of oh keep us out of your problems because that's a kind of like I don't want to get caught mm -hmm. in the big debates of the day that's not what we are saying we are saying yes we have stakes in the big debates of the day I will take my call but I there's no exclusivity in any of my relationships I reserve the right to deal with each one of you as per my national interest and uh, also uh, preparing for a larger uh, footprint, hmm. you know, global footprint, then the entire approach to the diaspora has under, undergone a change. I would certainly say today, you know, look, when we say Vishwamitra, just look, I, I give you the example. Vishwamitra of, feels nice. Vishwaguru no, 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 seems threatening no, no, to no, many. No. I have used the word Vishwamitra and I, to me, if you want to, one example of that is the G20. That at the G20, look, go back and look at it. 24 hours, not even 12 hours before the G20 uh, declaration was finalized, there were people publicly predicting that we will fail. Okay, now I know some part of it was politically driven, put that aside. Hmm. But the general expectation was, you know, relations today are so polarized on the Ukraine issue, if uh, the uh, concerns of the global south have become so strong and yet, uh, you know, being contested in a way or not being recognized uh, duly by others. So there was a north-south divide, there was a east-west polarization, different countries were pulling in different directions and yet the fact was eventually we got everybody to come to the table. And, and I accept, when they all came to the table, they deserve credit. But finally, the truth is, they came to the table because everybody ultimately had a relationship with India. Hmm. The other 19 countries said, yes, this, this matters for India. This is something which is right. So let if, because the fact is, everybody made a compromise. That's how it happened. Tamil Nadu Global Investors Meet 2024 is happening in Chennai on January 7 and 8. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.